Hey everyone, I'm Liz, and today I'm going to be showing you how I made this um, Vault Boy applique out of crochet. Some things that you're going to need for this tutorial are a crochet hook for this um, applique. I used a size B. You're going to need a pair of scissors to cut off your yarn, a yarn needle to sew in your end, and you're going to need a regular sewing needle and black thread to sew on all of the details after you're done making the applique. You're also going to need yarn. I used um, a bone from Karen Simply Soft to do the um, front of the face, and for the shadow part of the face I used taupe also from Simply Soft. Um, you can just use any um, light flesh tone yarn for this part and then a slightly darker one for the shadow. I used this bright yellow yarn for the um, front part of the hair, and for the shaded part I used this um, golden yellow, and for the teeth I used white. Okay, so I'm going to start with my flesh colored yarn, and I'm going to make a slip knot, and then I'm going to insert my hook, and then I'm going to chain four. In that third chain from my hook, I'm going to insert my hook and pull up a loop, and then I'm going to single crochet, and that's going to count as my first two stitches. And now I'm going to single crochet into the rest of the chain, and that last one I'm going to increase. So I'm going to insert my hook again, pull up another loop, and single crochet. And now I'm going to chain up and turn the work around, and I'm going to increase that first stitch. So in that same stitch I chained up from, I'm going to single crochet. Then I'm going to single crochet until I get to um, the last stitch of the row. Okay, and I'm going to increase that last stitch again. And now I'm going to chain up and do another row. I'm going to increase this first stitch again. And now I'm going to single crochet until I get to the end of the row. And um, this time I'm not going to increase the last stitch of the row, so I'm just going to do one stitch of single crochet. And I'm going to chain up for the next row, and increase that first stitch again, and I'm going to leave this stitch open and switch colors to white. So I'm going to finish that stitch using the, um, the white yarn, and now I'm going to continue using white. So I'm going to do four stitches in white, and then on the fourth stitch, I'm going to leave that color open, and then I'm going to switch colors again back to my flesh tone yarn. And now I'm going to increase that last stitch using my flesh tone yarn. Now I'm going to chain up and turn the work around again. I'm going to increase that first stitch and leave it open, and then I'm going to switch colors back to white. And now I'm going to do a couple of stitches of white. I'm going to do six stitches using white. And now I'm at the end of the row, so I'm going to chain up, turn the work around, and I'm going to increase this stitch twice. So I'm going to do um, two more stitches into the same stitch, and the second one I'm going to leave open, and then I'm going to switch colors back to my flesh colored yarn. Okay, and now I'm going to continue using my flesh colored yarn until I get to um, the end of the row, and then I'm going to switch colors to white again. Okay, so now I'm on the fifth stitch of uh, flesh color, so I'm going to switch to white. And I'm going to do another stitch using white. And then I'm going to switch back to my flesh tone yarn. And then I'm going to increase that last stitch using my flesh tone yarn. Okay. And now I'm going to chain up for the next row. And in this row, I'm just going to single crochet using my flesh colored yarn um, in every stitch without adding any increases. Okay, and now I'm on the last 
last stitch of the row, so I'm going to um, chain up after this stitch. And then I'm going to turn the work around and I'm just going to single crochet until I get to the last stitch. Okay, and now at the end of the row, I'm going to do a decrease. So I'm going to insert my hook and pull up a loop in the last two stitches and then crochet them both together. Now I'm going to chain up and I'm going to um, single crochet across until I get to the other side. Okay, I'm on the last stitch, so I'm going to chain up to get to the next row. And now I'm just going to single crochet across again. And on the last stitch, I'm going to chain up. And now for this row, I'm going to decrease the first stitch, so I'm going to pull up two loops and um, crochet them both together. And now I'm going to continue single crocheting for the rest of the row. Okay, I'm on the last stitch. So now I'm going to chain up. And turn the work around. And then I'm going to uh, single crochet across again. Alright, and now I'm on the last stitch of the row, so I'm going to chain up again to get to the next row. And now in this row again, I'm going to decrease the first stitch. And now I'm going to continue to single crochet across. Okay, so I'm going to chain up after that last row. And now I'm going to just single crochet this entire row. Okay, and now I'm on the last stitch, so I'm going to chain up again. And in this row, I'm going to once again single crochet in every stitch. And now I'm going to chain up to get to the next row and turn the work around. And now in the first stitch, I'm going to single crochet, and then the next one, I'm going to do an increase with half double crochet. So I'm going to be yarning over and pulling through all three loops. Um, and I'm going to do that twice in the same stitch. And then I'm going to do a slip stitch. Now I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to single crochet once. And now I'm going to do another half double crochet increase. And now I'm just going to turn the work slightly and I'm going to single crochet all the way around the edge. Okay, and once I get to the side of that cheek, I'm going to do an increase. So um, I'm going to do two stitches in the same spot. So right here, I'm going to add my increase. Okay, and now I'm just going to continue to single crochet around the, um, around the face. Okay, and now that I'm at the bottom of the chin, I'm going to do a slip stitch. And then I'm just going to continue to single crochet around the other side of the face. 
And when I get back up to the top, I'm going to add some more half double crochets. And now I'm at the top, so I'm going to do my last single crochet at the corner here. And now I'm going to chain up for the next row, and I'm going to do one single crochet, and then I'm going to increase using half double crochets. So I'm going to do two half double crochets in the same stitch. And now I'm going to do a couple of slip stitches. So I'm going to slip stitch once, and then I'm going to slip stitch again. And now I'm going to chain up. Then I'm going to do a single crochet. And now I'm going to do another half double crochet increase. So one and two half double crochets in the same stitch. Okay, and then I'm going to do one more single crochet next. So I'm going to single crochet into that corner. And now I'm going to do a slip stitch to finish that section. Okay, so I've cut off my yarn from that previous part, and now I'm going to add the um, shadow part to the other side using my yarn that's a little bit darker than the previous flesh tone. So I'm going to pull up a loop at the bottom of the face, at, um, at the corner of the chin right there. And I pulled up my loop, so now I'm going to chain one, and now I'm going to single crochet all the way up to the top of the head. Okay, so now I've gotten back to the top of the head. So, um... So, uh, I'm going to do a slip stitch to the very top part, right here. And then I'm going to chain up for my next row. And now I'm just going to single, uh, single crochet down to the bottom of the chin. Okay, so I've gotten to the bottom, and now I'm going to just, um, continue on in the lighter stitches. So I'm going to continue to single crochet for a few stitches. And then I'm going to do a slip stitch. And now I'm going to just continue on the other side, instead of chaining up like I've done in the previous rows, and then I'm going to decrease that first stitch so that the um, bottom of the chin will be a little bit smaller for the next row. And now I'm just going to continue to single crochet across for a while. Okay, so I've gotten back up to the top, so I'm going to chain up and turn the work around. And then I'm going to do a half double crochet. So I've increased that first stitch with a half double crochet. I'm going to do another half double crochet in the next stitch, and then I'm going to increase that with a single crochet. And now I'm just going to continue and single crochet to the bottom of the face again. Okay, I'm at the bottom of the face, and now to continue that curve, I'm going to decrease the bottom. And then I'm going to chain up, and I'm going to decrease the bottom again. And now I'm going to continue to single crochet. So now I'm at the end of the row, so I'm going to actually increase the last stitch. And now I'm going to single crochet into the bottom of the previous row, so that I can increase the size of this row even more. And now I'm going to chain up, and I'm going to continue to the next row. Now I'm going to do a half double crochet increase. So I've got two stitches in that same stitch. Now I'm going to do another half double crochet. And now I'm going to single crochet in the remaining stitches until I get to the bottom of the row. 
So now I'm at the bottom of the row again, and I'm going to do my decrease so that I can keep that line sloping down, chain up, and I'm going to decrease this first stitch as well. And now I'm going to single crochet to the top. Okay, I'm at the top, and I'm going to do a half double crochet at the very top here. And I'm going to do another half double crochet in the next stitch. And I'm going to increase that stitch with another half double crochet. And now I'm going to do one more. And now I'm just going to slip stitch. And cut off my yarn here. Now I'm going to add on the ear right around here, so I'm going to pull up a loop right there at the edge of the jaw, and I'm going to chain one, and now I'm going to half double crochet into the same stitch that I just chained out of, and now the next stitch I'm going to do a half double crochet, and then I'm going to increase that stitch but I'm going to increase it using a double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over, and then I'm going to pull through two. So I'm going to pull up a loop in the same stitch, pull through two, and then pull through the next two. Next stitch, I'm going to do another double crochet. So um, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then pull through two, and pull through two. And now I'm going to increase that stitch using a half double crochet. So this time, pull through all three. Now the next stitches, I'm going to single crochet a few times. So I'm going to continue using single crochet. And once I get to the corner of the jaw, I'm going to do an increase. So I'm going to just increase that last single crochet. And then I'm going to continue to single crochet until I get to the end of the shaded part, and then I'm going to go on for another couple of stitches on top of the lighter shade of yarn. So I'm going to continue to the end of the shaded part, and now the next stitch I'm going to do one more single crochet into those um, lighter stitches, and then I'm going to do a slip stitch to end this section, and I'm going to cut off my yarn. So next I'm going to do the sideburn part and um, another row around the ear. So I'm going to use my shaded yarn and pull up a loop next to the ear. Then I'm going to chain up, and I'm going to single crochet once toward the top of the head. And now I'm going to do a half double crochet for the next four stitches. Okay, and now I'm going to chain up and start the next row. I'm going to single crochet into the next one, and then I'm going to increase the next one. So two in that stitch, and then I'm going to do a half double crochet, then I'm going to increase that stitch with a single crochet. Okay, now I'm going to do a single crochet in the next stitch, and now I'm going to do a slip stitch to the bottom of the ear. Now I'm going to chain up, and I'm going to single crochet um, one more time, and then I'm going to half double crochet three times. And then I'm going to um, do a single crochet decrease at the end of the ear. And I'm going to chain up, turn the work around, and now I'm going to single crochet into the next uh, three stitches. And the last stitch I'm going to increase, and then I'm going to slip stitch to the bottom of the ear. Okay, and now I'm going to chain up and single crochet three times, and then I'm going to do a um, half double crochet increase in that third single crochet, so I'm going to do a half double crochet into the same stitch, then I'm going to go and single crochet three more times. Okay, 
And now I'm going to slip stitch to end this part. And now I'm going to cut off my yarn. I'm also going to pull this tail to the back of the work. Now I'm going to use my lighter colored yarn to do another row around the edge of the face. I'm going to start here in my shaded area and I'm going to pull up a loop and then I'm going to chain one and now I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch and then I'm going to increase that stitch using a half double crochet. Next I'm going to do another half double crochet and then I'm going to do a single crochet and then I'm going to slip stitch to the next stitch. Now I'm going to do one more slip stitch and then I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch. Now I'm going to do a half double crochet and then I'm going to increase that half double crochet with another half double crochet. So I'm going to go into the same stitch and do another half double crochet. Then I'm going to do another half double crochet increase, so two more half double crochets into this stitch. And now I'm going to half double crochet one more stitch, and this one I'm not going to increase. Now I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch. And I'm going to continue to single crochet along this side of the face and I'm going to go on single crocheting until I get to the bottom of the face, but I'm going to do one increase once I get to the cheek. So um, about here I'm going to do my increase, and now I'm just going to continue single crocheting until I get to the bottom of the face. And now I've gotten to the bottom of the face and I am on my last couple of single crochets of the lighter shaded part. So I'm going to go into that darker shaded part and I'm just going to slip stitch to end my row and then I'm going to cut off my yarn.